coolest evos is here in fc24 it's free and it is called backline to frontline we have put sandro tonali through this currently extinct on the market with a claim evolution and we are going to review this pretty damn cool card if you ask me are you tired of coming up against absolutely insane teams? Well, today I've got a solution for you. Welcome to LootBar.gg, the fastest, safest, and most reliable, as well as cheapest coins I have seen for FC24. You can receive your coins as fast as 30 minutes, and also they offer full refunds if you're not happy with the product. Here is me making an order of 100,000 coins. As you can see, as we go across to the game, I've only got 489,000 coins. I also got a message from the customer service team, and they told me exactly Exactly what I need to do to get my coins. And there we have it guys, just like that, in about 20 minutes I have received my 100,000 coins. Not only that, they offer 24 seven customer support, so if you do need help with your order, you are in good hands. You can also trust lootbar.gg with a 4.6 rating on Trustpilot and absolutely amazing reviews, which you can see right now on your screen. So if you want to upgrade your team on FC24, make sure you go to lootbar.gg, link in the description. Okay guys, so this is quite an easy Evo to complete. It's only gonna take you seven games i want to say and of course as i've already said this tonali is currently extinct he is three star five star the idea behind this evo is that you played him up front this is not going to be the case for this tonali i think this card is going to be super super meta we'll explain how and why shortly but the five star week looks really nice medium high work rates is also quite cool for this card and he's also a 5 11 in terms of alternates CDM and sentiment. He can also play striker now, which has been done via the backline to frontline evolution. So you do want to play him up front, which I wouldn't recommend really. You certainly can. The three star skills kind of negate the fact that you know he can play a striker. You don't really want to play him there with the three star skills. In terms of play styles, he gains quick step, I believe, from this. He's got relentless, he's got slide tackle, long ball pass, which is awesome, power shot silver, power header plus. And aerial plus should be really really good for in the midfield that is what i'm hoping anyway and yeah this this card looks amazing right he's got insane shot power and long shots look at that 98 and 99 for his shot power and long shots really good pace as well 86 and 91 he's gained free pace i believe from his uh, gold card which is this evo it's his gold card of course to the 91 he's got good passing already you know he's got okay vision crossing doesn't really matter free kick free kick accuracy doesn't really matter Good short pass and long pass, an okay curve. Great agility and balance. Good reactions as well. Good ball control at 91. Dribbling is okay at 84. And very nice composure at 90. Defensively, very solid as well. 86 interceptions, 85 defensive awareness, 86 stab tackle. Also got 87 jump in, of course, with aerial plus and power header plus. 89 stand with relentless, 85 strength and 87 aggression. Now, as I said, this card can be played striker. And it's kind of the idea that what EA went for is that, okay, move a, either a centre-back or a uh, box-to-box midfielder into striker. This card will be, in my opinion, hopefully, touch wood, one of the best box-to-box -box midfielders on the game because of how good his shooting is. He should be able to get really, really well involved in the attack. That's how we're going to play with him as well. Now, I know he is medium high. It doesn't really matter, though, with instructions being in the game. But he's got one get forward in the 4-3-2-1. We're going to play him there. And in terms of the chem style, currently he's got a shadow on, which I actually think is quite a good chem style for him. But if I do have one, which I don't know if I do, I've got a lot of chem styles, I do have one. We're going to go for a basic. Basic is kind of the chem style that is getting used a lot right now. Understandably so. It is so good on this game at the moment. You've got 91 sprint speed up to now 95. So he's like 91 pace. 93 attack positioning, maxed out shot power, 85 volleys, goes up to 87 vision. 93 short pass, 91 long pass, and 83 curve. Goes up to 91 agility, 95 ball control, and 88 dribbling. 89 for his defense awareness, and 90 for his stand tackle, and also 89 strength. I'm really excited to review this card, so let's get into the gameplay. Alrighty, first game coming up with our man Tonali. Didn't take me too long, guys, to do this. I was doing it in champs qualifiers. What a team. Wowzers. That is a crazy, crazy team, isn't it? Wow. Okay. Sweaty game incoming here then, most definitely. Let's see what this Tonali can offer us. I, I I really do think, guys, that this is one of them cards. I know there's a few of the others as well. Goretzka looks really good, for example. But I think this card is like a come forward, centre mid. Oh, look at this pace. Bang. A hot pen. It is as well. Tonali's one of the penalty straight away. 
Wow. He's gonna he's gonna get the penalty too. Here he goes. Here he steps up. Come on tonight. I love this goal card at the start, by the way. Absolutely loved it. It is 1 0. Tonight scores the penalty there. He did win. Okay, good start. Good start. Now, what am I expecting from this card, guys? Good defensive qualities. The, the thing I liked about him at the start was that he had a really good body type. Now, on my road to glory, this is going to sound crazy. I actually used to play his goal card at right back. Really good for the over the tops because he's got long ball pass. Had decent shooting from range on his goal card as well. So this card does interest me. And as soon as I've seen this Evo came out, I thought, okay, I'm going to take a look at Tonali because I miss him. And, you know, of course, he isn't going to get any specials throughout this, this game now, is he, because of the uh, issues IRL. And that's a poor pass, really. I thought that might have been a little bit better. We're going to put on the attacking fullbacks here. And we're going to see what we can do with that. The other thing I like about Tonali, guys, of course, uh, this is a big one for me, is he's really fast. That body type there, good strength. This is going to be an amazing card, guys. Yeah. There you go. There's that ball as well, guys. This Tonali feels good, man. This Tonali does feel good. Here he goes again. Nice dribbling. Oh, it is really nice. And that is exactly why, guys, I like this card as the box-to-box -box midfielder. He's won that ball back for us. He's then played that over the top to Alfonso Davies. We then recycled the play, got it back into Tonali, and he's on an absolute madness. This guy's a good player as well. This guy's a good player. Tonali again here. Just play it off to Frimpong. That's nice. Good touch there from Frimpong as well. Back into Tonali. No. Ooh, ooh. Oh, he's nearly got to that. Yeah, I, I really do like the bulk, big, bulky body type that he's got. He's really, really quite strong. Ooh. Nice, Tonali. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's got to be a foul in the end. What is going on here? Another thing that I want to try with him is the pot volleys. Oh. He does feel really good on the dribbling. Oh, that's a bit unlucky. Okay, we're 17 minutes into this game. We'll stay live for a bit longer. Because this guy is sweaty. I've got to. Oh, if the chance does arise, I will go for it. I will go for that. Because he's got maxed out long shots. Oh, he's injured now as well. I mean, he's been the focal point of this game so far. I mean, I am forcing the ball a little bit to him, maybe. That's the one thing, though, guys, with him. Doesn't have any passing play styles other than what, you know, the, the long ball pass. He does feel really good on the ball, though. Feels like he's got press proven. I know he doesn't. <sighs> wow. Bit unlucky, guys. Bit unlucky. That's what a hell of a power shot there. Of course, he does have the silver version of it. Those power shots are going to feel pretty juicy anyway. But man, that was one hell of an effort, wasn't it? Into him here. I don't know if he's going to win that. Yeah, of course he's got aerial. Oh, man. I forgot he had aerial. Inside, surely, for the finesse. Yeah, I thought so, thought so. Yeah, that aerial could be quite OP for scenarios like this, you know. Yeah. I literally forgot. And that's like the biggest part of the, uh, the Evo, isn't it? Getting aerial on power header. One, 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 one. Winners, winners, winners. No, not against Marquez. That's, that's being a bit silly, isn't it? Nice Tonali. Nice Tonali. He does feel insanely physical, to be fair. I know he's been dispossessed there, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, what is happening? I didn't really expect the ball back there. Okay, guys, we're 30 minutes into this game. Let's go to some highlights. Really, really nice dribbling with this card, guys. More so left seat dribbling. His, his left seat dribbling feels absolutely incredible. And of course, for me as well, guys, I don't know how much you watch this channel, but I love the players that have the five-star weak foot in midfield. I think it's so, 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 so valuable. Oh, oh yeah. Tonali again there. Look at that. Oh, good physical again there. Good pass into Dimitar as well. I'm never scoring that. That's so silly for me. So silly for me. This card feels awesome. Better than most SBCs I've used. Like, actually. Sonali goes again here. Got no options. Good pass into Dimitar, though. That's a really nice little pass there. Back into Tonali as well. Little dink. Yeah, he's found it too. Oh, my God. Guys. Incredible. Incredible start to this game. This guy's player locking on all sorts as well. So, this dude is good. 
I just feel like we're in absolute complete cruise control of this game. So I'll leave a bit of space here. He needs to assess his options. Not well finding that space there. I mean, guys, it just feels like this card is just a bit of an all-rounder. He's really, 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 really good. Oh, Tonali, that's disgusting. Oh, my God, that is disgusting. Here he goes again. Should hold off Bobby here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, that's incredible work from Tonali. I don't care if we don't score this. I mean, that's crazy work from him. Draw winners. Nice. Okay. I mean, this guy I'm playing is actually, like, really good, guys. Tonali is actually running the show in this game, though. It's good work from him again. My God. Good outball there as well. This Tonali is killing it in this game. That's nice from him as well. Oh. Final pass we couldn't get off, guys. But let me tell you, man. This card's sick. This card is sick. Fontanale. Man. He feels so good on the burst. That is so unlucky not to find that. That's why you've got to be careful with a card like this. I'll be real. They don't have the best passing. You know, he, he, his passing's good. Oh, his passing is good. But it's not as good as, like, Schweinsteiger's or uh, De Bruyne's. He's really good at the over-the-tops. He is really good at the over-the-tops. Absolutely. But anything else? Oh, my God. Oh, no. Never going to go in. But, man, he makes really great runs in this 4-3-2-1. I think this is a consideration for a lot of people, lads. I have to say. Wait for a run. Good holding up. Little dink as well. It's a really good ball, guys. It's a really, really good ball there into Frimpong. Okay. I mean, made from Tonali, guys. This card is actually amazing. Okay, guys. My review is in on Sandro Tonali's 91 rated Evo card. Backline to frontline is what this is called. Before I do forget. Let's talk about this card for a little bit. We've got a basic on him. He is unbelievable in game guys the reason i say he's unbelievable in game is first of all he's a great utility player if you want to play him at striker you can if you want to play him at cam you can two positions i wouldn't recommend mind but you can play him there and he will do a job for you this card's best position is box to box midfield where you utilize him in an attacking sense and you also use his defensive qualities which he has an abundance may i add with a great body type in game as well guys he's got that big bulky physical body type which means even though he doesn't have a lot of the defensive play styles, his ability to knock people off the ball is quite strong just via his presence. The power shot is good to have as well, guys. And whilst, again, not a lot of passing play styles, there is an argument to be made that long ball pass is the best passing play style. And he is so, so good at them passes over the top, which you'll see by the gameplay if you go and check it out. As I said, defensively, style tackle isn't very good as a play style. But because he's got a big body type in game, it feels like he's got bruiser. It feels like he's got anticipate, you know, that kind of stuff. He feels really, really good defensively. And I think for this card, it's just a bit of a madness because this card was actually already good now as a defensive option. Awful going forward. And it's not just as simple as... He's a good box-to-box -box midfielder because he's got good shooting and decent passing and a big body type. The five-star weak foot on this card is super, super important as well to play that box-to-box -box role really, really comfortably. It means he can go on both feet for shooting or for passing, which is super valuable in that midfield role this year, in my personal opinion. As we actually talk about the in-games, does he feel fast? Yes, he actually does feel very, very fast in-game, even with the basic applied. Shooting-wise... Very good long shots. Decent shooting once he gets into the box as well. I think the composure is very decent for him or to help him have decent finishing in the box. And his finishing was pretty damn decent. Passing wise, his driven passes aren't the best. His double X's aren't the best. His free balls aren't the best. But that's not really the way you should play with this card. He's a very powerful midfielder where you should use him um, driving in lines, you know, straight lines. Kind of like 
uh, imagine this kind of like as like a Yaya Toure S player in real life. It's kind of way I'm trying to compare it, or how I like to play with him anyway. Um, he doesn't offer the best like just ground passes. You're more looking at the over the tops to the fullbacks or your wide players, and he is so so good at them, which is something that I find really valuable as well, guys. I do like them over the tops. I think they're very broken. Dribbling wise, I actually really liked his arm on dribbling, and he felt very very sticky on the ball, which is something I wasn't expecting considering. He is quite a big fella in game, big body type in game. But he felt very sticky on the left stick dribbling. His arm on dribbling was quite tasty as well. And his defending is okay in terms of stand tackles. He won't win every tackle for you. But once you do get his body in front, he feels insanely strong and his physicals are very nice. Even though he's only 5'11 as well, guys, he dominates in the air with the aerial plus, which is actually something I haven't seen too much from midfielders on FC24. Not many of them have got aerial plus so overall guys i think this is a, a, a must do evo if you can't afford or you can't get your hands on Inform goretzka who i do think is the best of the bunch go and get this to gnarly he is an absolute monster in game he can play central midfield he can play cdm both like insanely well of course he can play cameron striker as well and wide if you want him to but i'm talking about more the positions where he actually feels like he's going to be seriously meta and then positions are box to box midfield cdm right back or left back if you really want to try him there and i actually also think guys would be quite good as a center back i think this is a great card lads i honestly probably the best evo of fc24 so far if you disregard maybe this akanji of course was, was already a, a high rated card with the showdown guys let me know what you're going to do with this evo let me know if you're going to do tonali after watching this video and yeah guys he's going to get close to a 10 out of 10 for me man honestly free card Hard to get your hands on. Just just brilliant in-game. Guys, if you've enjoyed today's video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell to play review. But guys, that's going to be it for me for now. So take care.